Welcome to My Off-Grid Adventures. I'm Frank and I'm glad you're here with me today for what's going to be a fun and productive day. We're going to finally clear out our trail that we use the most to access our 60 acres. It's called Shadow Trail and it has a lot of limbs and trees that fell from a recent severe winter storm. And I needed to get a few things on my tractor to make this job safer and more effective. So what I have on my iMatch Quick Hitch are two bolt-on hooks, chain boxes with lids. And I also have the Quick Fist clamps on each side to hold some of my tools. And I've got a chainsaw mount from John Deere that is mounted directly to that bolt-on hook chain box. I also have a new grill guard on the front with side panels and the front grill guard. This is from 511 and I used Goodworks Tractors code to get 5% off of that and it was GWT. And I'm really glad that I have this because I am going to definitely risk damaging my tractor because of the work that I'm about to do. It's going to let limbs and sticks pass through my grapple. It doesn't have a whole lot there to keep them from going through and puncturing the front of my tractor and breaking the radiator. So I'm very glad to have that. That's about it. Uh, oh, I also wanted to show you one thing that I did to make my tools uh, protected from the weather. Since these bolt-on hooks, chain boxes are not water resistant or waterproof at all, they can't be because of the slots that they have in them. I bought these, um, these waterproof bags that fit pretty well. They're a little tight, but I think I'm gonna eventually figure this out a little bit better, but they're made by Rough Enough. And they're a nice, a nice bag that holds quite a few tools. It holds anything that would fit in that chain box. So uh, that way I don't have to worry about snow and rain uh, impacting uh, the condition of my tools. It does make the lid a little bit, stick up a little bit, but I think it's still fine. So I'm glad to have that as well. Today we're going to start that project, hopefully finish that project of clearing all of the limbs and trees that have fallen and I hope that we have a safe and productive day. I'm glad you're here to join me for this project that I've been waiting months to tackle. I'm really eager to open up these trails and give us full access to our 60 acres again. Let's get started. This is one of our favorite destinations on our 60 acre property, our river. We've got quite a bit of access to it right now, over a quarter mile without factoring in the curves of it. It's a beautiful morning until you look this way at the trail that we use to get to our favorite spot. And you can see that there are quite a few, quite a few fallen trees down there. Some of them are hung up like this one and that one. But as you can see, these are the, the ones that are a little harder because they're still attached. And I'd rather have one that's hung up that I can just pull without having to try to break it but let's get going we'll see how how easy it is to remove these and today I just want to get them out of the way so that the trails clear I'll have to find a place for them until I can cut these up and use it for firewood I'm so glad to be able to have access to my echo battery powered chainsaw and my battery powered steel pole saw from the back of my tractor at all times. It is so convenient and so much better on my equipment to be able to have them in storage that's meant for it like this. My wife and I both really love this steel pole saw. And one of the reasons that I like it is the safety it gives you being able to be at least four or five feet from the place of action where damage can happen still going to wear this protective helmet and shield, but I'm just glad to be able to have a little distance in case something turns and twists some way because of gravity that I don't anticipate. This is the first time I've used this 30 foot toe strap by Rhino and I'm really happy again to have a little bit of extra space between me and the action. So that 30 feet is just about right and it worked really well.
that worked just as I had hoped. It broke at the point where I cut and weakened it so that it would pull out fairly easily. More, a lot more to go, but I'm gonna cut this in a few pieces so it's more manageable to move. Not only do I need to cut the tree length into sections that are manageable to move, but I also need to trim some of the branches so that they don't interfere with the grapple and I can get a good solid grip on the trunk of the tree itself. I really can't imagine doing this job without the tractor or without the grapple. I'm so glad that I got that third function installed and I got this particular grapple. It worked so well. Throughout this footage, you'll notice me use a few techniques with this grapple. Sometimes I use it as a rake. Sometimes I use it just to push things out of the way so that they're parallel with the edges of the trail. And then I use it obviously for its primary function. That worked quite well, so I'm going to try somewhat of a similar process with each of the next few trees. Stick around and in a few minutes you'll get to see my first use of the DJI Mini 4 Pro drone that I'm going to use just to go down this trail to show you how clear it is. That's a tool I'm really excited to have. So stick around, it's coming up in just a few minutes. I'm new to the tractor world, so I'm not yet affected by taking this for granted. I am just amazed at how much work can be done with so little effort. It really is a lot of fun, and I'm so glad to be able to tackle this damage that just would have ruined our trails without it. Without breaking much of a sweat, at least me, the tractor might have sweat a little bit. We got that cleared from what it was to a walkable, rideable trail now. So that is, that is a good morning's work. And nice breeze cooling me off right now. Let's tackle a few more projects like this and then we'll wrap it up. We've got the box blade on the back of the tractor just as a ballast, but let's use it to smooth out this trail so that it's as comfortable to walk and ride as possible. I thought this would be as good a time as ever to try out my new drone. It's a DJI Mini 4 Pro, 
and I'm going to use it to go down our trail. And by the way, I'm about a quarter mile from this drone right now as it's shooting this footage, but I'm controlling it from the RV. So it was pretty cool to be able to do this. And I did have a bit of a hiccup, which we'll see in a moment when I run into a small twig and it flips it over. But overall, I'm really excited about the kind of footage I'll be able to capture with this. Even some of the footage just of the entire property, which we've never really seen from an aerial view before. So it's a really cool tool and I'm looking forward to all the ways that I can use it. I got quite a bit of work done in a short amount of time, just a couple of hours, cleared all of Shadow Trail and we were able to get quite a bit of Forest Trail cleaned up too. And that, that just leaves us with a couple of more trails that need to be cleaned before we can start using them. But at least we have something now that we can use to ride and access our property. So I appreciate you joining me today. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel. And if you'd like to see more content about RVs, off-grid living, tractors, or any of my adventures in Michigan, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. We'll see you next time.